Hi friends! Okay, so in today's video, I'm actually going to be telling you my favorite um, Christian books, Christian devotionals, along with the apps that I use on my phone. And then I'm also going to be sharing with you the books that I've started but haven't yet finished. And then at the very end, I'm going to be sharing with you the Bibles. I believe that these are books that are uplifting, encouraging. Um, some of these books have completely changed my whole life, my view on God, what God really is, um, what He truly Truly um, wants to tell us and I'm gonna be sharing that with you because I've been asked that a few times so I just wanted to share my book collection so let's get started okay so I'm going to start off with my devotional books that I absolutely love so I'm gonna start off with Sarah Young um, Sarah Young is the author of Jesus Calling um, I'm sure several of you have already heard of Jesus Calling I love the Jesus Calling and then Jesus and then it usually has a word tacked in tacked on the end of it. So I've read Jesus Calling all the way through. Um, the format of these, oh hello, the format of these devotionals is that it gives you a date, then it gives you a devotional um, from the perspective of Jesus. So it's like as if Jesus is talking to you. And then at the very end it gives you a couple verses to reference um, where Sarah Young got this devotional from. I absolutely love this. I find this to be very easy um, in the morning. If you have a hectic morning, if you don't have a lot of time in the morning, if you don't, um, if you're a new Christian, I highly suggest the Sarah Young series of Jesus. There's Jesus Calling, Jesus Always, which I'm about to show you, Jesus Living, Jesus Today. Um, look them up on Amazon. They're pretty cheap on Amazon. Don't go to it like a Christian bookstore. I hate that, but they're way more expensive. Just go to Amazon and you can get like collections of them. I love this. So this one is the um, leather bound one. They have smaller ones that um, are like more like this size that so you can kind of go in comparison. I absolutely love this and I have been doing her um, series for about three years now. I can read them over and over and over again. I never get tired of them. This one right here is Jesus Always and so this one it always has a little, so this one is Enjoying Peace in His Presence. That's kind of like the the title of it. And this one is Embracing Joy in His Presence. So this one is more revolved around joy. And again, it's the same format where it's the date, um, a, per, a devotional from the perspective of Jesus. Then it's got some verses for you to go look up at the um, end. All these verses can go back and explain where Sarah Young wrote this devotional. I I can't say enough good things about this. 365 days. I think this would be a great gift um, to someone, a teenager, a woman of older age, and everyone could read this, understand it, and um, I highly suggest those. Okay, so those are my two devotional books that I have read and used. So now I'm going to be going into the books that I've read. All right, so I'm going to start off with the one that absolutely changed my entire life. I have, I was raised in a Christian home, um, praise God, but this is what really like nail on the head I understood and my eyes were like opened and um, I read this for the first time I think three years ago. This book is amazing. Um, so this is by Timothy Keller and it's The Prodigal God. It's a very small book. Um, you can see in compared, this is a normal size book and this one's really tiny. It's very not a lot of pages um, this is an absolutely amazing book this right here talks about the story um, in the New Testament about the prodigal son where um, there's the father the rich father and the two sons one of them wants his inheritance early and the other one stays and usually we talk about the younger brother and how he um, went off and spent all of his money and they came back and the father took him in um, um, but no one ever talks about the older brother and this book talks about the older brother about how he was almost in a worse place because he did everything right and then he got angry with the father uh, because he did not um, reward him for staying with him so it really just points out why do we love Jesus why do we love God do we love God because of his grace um, and all the things that he's done for us or is it only because are we only following rules and um, and basing our love based on what we're doing like our like our works and that explains this so well I I can't suggest this book enough 
I love this book with everything in me. I only read it one time and that's literally all I needed to, but I would suggest this to anybody um, who has a hard time with grace. Um, so I suggest reading that one. The next one I've actually read twice and that is a biography by Tyndale Baldwin. I don't know if you've heard of the singer um, Christian Stanfield but this is his sister. So this is her biography and it says popular boys, booze, and Jesus. This would be a great one for teenage girls. I read this when I wasn't a teenager. Um, I absolutely loved it. It talks about um, uh, it's that perfect stage in between of like high school leaving high school and then seeing like the end um, where she gets married and stuff so I suggest this and I've read this twice and um, it is beach um, it's been hit by the beach a couple times because I read this when I go to the beach so I love that one uh, the next one ooh, it is so good it is called uninvited this is by Lisa Turquoise I cannot say her last name. Um, Lisa Turquist, uninvited. Um, but it talks about basically how we as women can feel uninvited. Kind of putting our perspective like where um, just because if we're overlooked by other people, we are very much seen by God. So I suggest this. Um, this was a wonderful book. I love the way Lisa writes she is a beautiful writer and um, I can pinpoint her writings um, without even really knowing that it's her she, it's, it's a great book I suggest getting that the next one is another biography and this is the Magnolia story this is by Chip and Joanna Gaines I am sure you have heard of them they are the people um, who were on Fixer Upper and this tells their story of how they met how they created Fixer Upper and then um, you know their their prayer life and God you know we just see what's on HGTV or something but this goes to the roots of their faith and everything and I love this book I would give this as a Christmas present because everyone loves Joanna Gaines right now um, so those are the books that I have read and that I suggest I'm going to show you the ones that I have started but not yet finished um, so the first one that I have started a couple times but I just haven't finished it usually when that happens it's like God needs me not to finish it right now and for me to come back at a later time uh, but that is another Lisa Tur I cannot say her last name um, but this is the best yes this is this is a great book for busy moms or people who feel guilty because they do not say yes to everything that is asked of them. So if you feel like you are saying yes to everything and then feel bad for saying no, this book explains that it is okay to say no and sometimes by yes saying yes to everything, um, we are not doing what God has actually called us to do. And so I, I have started this and I've gotten into... A, think I've gotten halfway through and then something's happened and I just haven't finished it but it has been a great start the next one is a Timothy Keller prayer book this is um, probably one for maybe not a so new Christian um, this one's got more of like a Timothy Keller is an amazing author he, it is obvious that he is like he is gifted by the Lord in writing um, but this one just talks it talks about prayer and how we view and how we view a prayer um, and I have started this one but I haven't yet finished I started reading this right before we moved so I had to pack it away so that's why I haven't finished it another one is by and this one right here is torn up um, so this is a book called The Ragamuffin Gospel. The author is Brennan Manning and it is the testimony of Rich Mullins, um, but it's written by, um, what I just said, Brennan Manning. Okay, so this book is about God's grace. Um, I have heard that this has changed many people's lives. Grace is one of those things that I really feel is a hard thing to capture. Um, I got that in some of, in one of the videos I just made um, and some of y'all were talking about how hard it is to gra grasp the gift of grace. Um, this, my sister said that this was one of her life-changing books. Um, my uncle gave this to me. I started it, but I haven't yet finished it. I might have to get a new copy because I personally don't want to read this. This is a mess. Um, but um, I would definitely try reading that. All right, so now I'm going to go into the apps that I have on my phone that I find to be very 
helpful. The first um, app that I have on my phone is the Bible app. Um, yeah, so the Bible app it has a lot of devotionals, uh, different groups that you can read, different um, plans that you can do along with a daily verse. I'm going to be honest with you, I don't, I use this more of a reference when I need something quick, uh, but I don't use this as a devotional. I just can't seem, there just seems to be a lot on it. If I can make a suggestion to the Bible app, it would be like to clean up their app because there's just like so much on it that I, I would rather, I wish it was cleaner. It's just too much. When I'm wanting to do a devotional, I just don't want to see all the all the craziness. Um, so that's the first thing that I have. And then the next one is um, one that I really like, and that is the First Five app. I have talked about this. Um, this is an app created by Lisa and the woman that I can't pronounce her last name. Um, so every day there is a um, a devotional with a verse. There, I love this because there is so much content on this app. Um, so like if you clicked on the daily one, it would give you so much content like like verses, a devotional, and then she's got a what want more section and it just it's a great in-depth devotional um, where you can get a lot and they've set it up to where you can have comments. You can actually start a Bible study group, which I started one earlier this year, and um, that was a lot of fun. So I might, I might do that another one of those. Um, but I really like that, and they have it's aesthetically pleasing to the eye. They have really done a very good job. It is not like the Bible app. It is very much girl approved. It's very good. And then the last thing that I have on my phone is actually a book, and it is called You and Me. It's by Francis Chan, and let me tell you, Francis Chan is my favorite preacher ever, ever. This is a free download. You don't have to pay for it, and it is You and Me. Um, that's the name of the book, and you can read it on your phone, and it is a book about him and his wife, and um, how their marriage, how they do marriage, and how they um, base their entire marriage on Christ and like not each other and like it's it's such a beautiful I haven't finished reading it but what I've started they are just wonderful people and I trust them um, that is one thing that I do um, want to make sure just because it's Christian don't assume that it is correct and I mean that like you need to figure out who you trust as an author because the truth is sometimes I don't like reading um, Christian books because I know that the Bible is like pure I know that it's been inspired by God um, like that's something I trust I you need to make sure that you like look into it make sure it matches up with what you believe some books um, could really mess you up if nothing else read the Bible like that's that's my thing read the Bible but these are some of the books that I trust um, just as a blanket I trust um, Francis Chan as a preacher I trust Timothy Keller as an author I trust Sarah Young as an author and I trust Lisa Turk Turquist as an author those are four people that I've looked into I trust um, I don't I don't really like venture out too much like just because it says oh it's a Christian book I really make sure that it aligns with what I believe um, because I don't need things altering my my beliefs I, I need to go back to the truth of the Bible which leads me into my favorite Bibles um, so I'm going to be sharing with you my favorite Bible that I'm using right now is the Jesus Bible um, this is a great Bible I mentioned this in my how to study Bible how to study the Bible I love this because even in the Old Testament it gives it goes back to um, Jesus like in the sidebar it gives you room to take notes it's just a very pretty book along with that it is a very pretty Bible um, and you can buy these along also on Amazon. My other favorite Bible is a, um, my favorite version of the Bible is the Holman version. To me, it is 
it is beautifully written. I love it so much. I actually gave my home inversion Bible away to one of my friends that I believe that God told me to give this Bible to. It's funny, in that first video on how I study the Bible, um, I literally say, I hope God never tells me to give it away because I would be so sad. But There's then, times where I'm like, I really hope God does not ever tell me to give this away because I would be super sad. But then I felt like God was really telling me to give it away. So I no longer have that, but Home Inversion is my um, other favorite, um, is my favorite version of it. Okay, and just for fun, I thought I'd show you all my journals because I'm weird and I like looking at these kinds of things. Okay, so the one I'm currently using right now is this Spiral Bound. I got it from TJ Maxx. I got most of these from TJ Maxx. Um, spiral, brown, spiral Bound and Floral. The next one that I have that I haven't written in yet is one that says write um, and it is empty. So there's that one. This one is one that says do justly, love mercy, walk humbly. That one's also by TJ Maxx. Um, obviously I'm, I like floral because look at here, another floral one. This one actually says journal um, and I like this one because it's bright floral. Again, TJ Maxx. All right, the next one is this one right here, and it says, love always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always preserves, and then it says journal with a little tabby at the bottom. This one is one that says, she is clothed in strength and dignity and laughs without fear of the future. Um, it's a Proverbs 31, you can see it a little bit better on that one. And I think I got that from TJ Maxx. These have all been written in. Um, this is one that I actually got from the Passion City Church, which is Lily Giglio. Um, this is an actual workbook that went with the Prodigal God. Um, this one has a giraffe on it. It says Compositions. <laughs> and it has been all taken up. This one I... I love this one. This one is like a leather bound one and this one says let your requests be known to God which I think is very nice for a um, a journal. And then I think that's it. I don't think I have any more. Okay so that is it for this video. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that it actually helped you and gave you some ideas for yourself or maybe somebody, somebody that you know. If you did like this video don't forget to give me a thumbs up and also leave me a comment below of a book that has changed your life um, because I would love to investigate that for myself and maybe um, get that for the new year. Um, so I hope that you have a great day and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye.